In this Weeble 3 tutorial video, I will show you how to initially set up the gimbal, balance it, add accessories, and upgrade to the newest firmware via the ZY Play app. Let's get started. Start by removing the quick release system by pressing on the safety release notch and loosening up the tensioner, then simply slide out the quick release plate. Now take the plate and mount it onto your camera. Use the flathead tool that comes with your gimbal and use that to tighten up the plate to your camera. Now switch off the axis lock, releasing the roll motor. Now do the same for the tilt axis. Ziyun has also made a dual quick release system. This can help out with the balancing process, making it much easier. Simply slide on the small plate onto the larger plate until you hear a big click. With the quick plate installed on your camera, simply slide it onto the quick release system on the gimbal. Make sure it clicks to lock in, and then tighten up the tensioner to secure the camera. Make sure there is enough clearance between the tilt motor and your camera. Now let's begin the balancing process by releasing the tilt axis. Release the quick release plate tensioner and start moving the plate forward or backward. Your goal is to have the camera remain pointing straight without flopping forward or backward. This is a trial and error process and differs depending on the type of camera and lens combination. You may also have to readjust your quick release plate to give you more slack. Now point your camera up and see if it flops. If it does, we need to make a secondary tilt adjustment to adjust this balance. This camera has to be pointing straight. Loosen up this vertical adjustment screw. Once loosened, you can lift the camera up or down. Again, this is a trial and error process, and until your camera remains pointing up without flopping over, you must continue this balance process. Once the camera remains pointing up without flopping over, tighten up the vertical tilt adjustment. Now let's see if the tilt adjustment stays level. If not, let's make one more subtle adjustment to the quick release plate by pushing it forward or backward until it stops leaning forward or backward. You can hand position the camera in any direction and if it wants to stay in that same position, you have a balanced tilt axis. Now let's move to the roll axis. Unlock that axis lock and use this adjustment here to push your camera from left to right or right to left. Once that tensioner is loosened, slide your camera until it stops leaning to the left or to the right. When you're finished, tighten up that adjustment. Test your gimbal's balance so far by hand positioning the camera on the tilt and roll axis to see if it stays in that position. If it does, it's properly balanced. Now let's move to the final adjustment, which is the pan adjustment. Loosen up that tensioner and unlock the axis lock. Test the pan adjustment balance by tilting your gimbal over to the left or to the right. If it swings around, it's not properly balanced. Loosen up the tensioner, allowing you to push the pan arm forward or backward. Find that sweet spot until the gimbal stops swinging around when you tilt it to the left or to the right. Now let's install the wrist rest to your gimbal. Use the mini rosette mount located on the bottom of the gimbal to attach this wrist rest. Now let's attach the sling arm. Use the mini rosette mount on the opposite side of the wrist rest and tighten up the sling arm nice and tight. Now attach the audio cable coming from the gimbal to the camera. You can find the mic jack right under or next to the tilt motor. Here you will also find the camera control port. Attach the necessary cable that will work with your camera. With the cables attached, do one more balance check to see that your gimbal is properly balanced. With the gimbal turned on, access the motor menu. Select motor, then go to auto. This will auto calibrate the motors depending on the payload that you have on the gimbal. It will shake the gimbal slightly, but do not worry, this is a part of the process. 
Now let's upgrade to the latest firmware of your gimbal. Connect it to the app via Bluetooth and then hit the Upgrade Now button. This will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Once done, your gimbal will shut off. Simply restart it and you're good to go. To check to see that the latest firmware is installed in your gimbal, go into the menu and scroll all the way down to About. Select About and here you will see the firmware version. And that just about does it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.